So dear children, today we'll take up the new lesson, Greenland, the land of snow and ice, chapter 5 on page 31 of your textbook. So Greenland is the largest island in the world. Its territory occupies more than 2 million square kilometers. No other island can be compared to it. Geographically, it relates to North America. However, it belongs to Europe. Greenland is a self-governing province of Denmark. Its capital is Nuuk. Now let's see its location. It lies to the northeast of Canada. Most of Greenland falls in the Arctic Circle and is very close to the North Pole. It has the Atlantic Ocean to the south and the Arctic Ocean to the north. The first European who visited Greenland was an explorer called Eric the Red. He gave the island its name. Climate As you know, Greenland is located close to the North Pole. Most of Greenland falls in the Arctic circle so therefore it receives the most slanting rays of the sun summer is short and lasts only for three months winters are very long and harsh that means very cold in summer the sun shines even at midnight vegetation nothing grows in the ice covered area of greenland there are no forests and no crops can be grown here. Plants like sage, cotton grass and lichens or lichen grow in southern Greenland during the summer months. So why it's grown in the south, southern Greenland means because it's the warmest part of the island. So now the wildlife. Animals with thick furry coats or those which can withstand extremely cold climate can survive in Greenland. Example, polar bear, reindeer, arctic fox, snow hare and musk ox. People, the Eskimos or Inuit are the original inhabitants of Greenland. So let's talk more about them. They are the original inhabitants of Greenland. Shelter. So during winter season, they live in igloo, that's a snow house. And in summer, they live in tent, which is made of animal skin. So they are hardworking, cheerful people. They are hunters and fishermen. They use harpoons to kill animals. So harpoon means it is a long spear with a leather rope attached to it. So it is used to catch fish or whales. And they even use kayaks to hunt sea animals. So kayak means it's a small boat made of wood and covered with skin. The skin of an animal like warless or seal. So here you can see igloo, house, snow house. They live in igloo during the winter season. And in summer they move. And they live out, that means they live in the tent made of animal skin. So changing lifestyle of Inuits. So the lifestyle of the Inuits has undergone many changes in the last few years. So today, most Inuits live in towns and settled a small settlement. There are towns with modern facilities like schools, hospitals, electricity, shops etc now they use rifles for hunting and motor boat for fishing that means they have replaced their uh, primitive tools so nuke has become a modern city and it is a major center for fish processing so we can say that greenland is developing rapidly with the help of science and technology